So I'm supposed to like uh, do a presentation of this uh, paper next week for our uh, subgroup in uh, with Waters Run. So it's a paper published in October 31, 2020, fairly recent. It's called um, Positive Resampler for Monte Carlo Events with Negative Weights. So it's a Fino paper by Jeppe Anderson. Christian Gutcho. So this guy is uh, from Atlas. I know this guy. He's usually in the, I believe he's like one of the uh, guys who like does my my uh, QT in the in the glance. At, the, at least he's the one who updates it. Andreas Mayer and uh, Stefan Pristel. Very, uh, uh, very uh, familiar name. I believe he's one of the Pythia guys. But anyway, um, let's go down. So the abstract reads, uh, it's a fairly wrong paper. Let me check. Yeah, it's a bit long. But the abstract reads, uh, we propose the positive resampler to solve the problem associated with event samples from state-of-the-art predictions for scattering processes at hadron colliders, typically involving a sizable number of uh, events contributing with the negative weight. The proposed method guarantees positive weights for all... Um, where's that? Uh, for all... I, I, I was lost now. For all, uh, this uh, this is stupid. Where am I? Ah, I was pressing uh, page down all the time. Uh, positive weights for all, and then let's click a little bit up, a little bit. There you go. Or we can use up and down. I'm an idiot. Yeah. For of all uh, observables, so it use uh, it guarantees uh, positive uh, weights for all physical distributions and a correct description of all observables. A desirable si side product of the method is the possibility to reduce the size of event samples produced by general purpose event generators. Okay, so it's supposed to, right, that's useful. Thus, lowering the resource demands for subsequent computing intensive event processing steps, we demonstrate the viability and efficiency of our approach by considering its application to a next to leading order plus parton shower merge predictions of the uh, for the production of a W boson in a association with the multi jets. Mm, looks interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna read this over the weekend. I believe it's a fairly long paper, around like a 10 pages, I think. But looks interesting. They use the uh, yeah. So the promise is like they can convert uh, negative weights into positive ones, and then uh, they could reduce the number of uh, uh, like uh, event size that you would need when you use uh, general purpose event generators. You know, with a uh, Pythia, Herwig, uh, Sherpa, stuff like that. But anyway, um, let's uh, browse some uh, Facebook right here. You have a Facebook of this guy. Oh, like uh, there's a like in the post, but yeah, there's this. Uh, let's let's uh, stalk this guy. This guy looks awesome, you know. Let's see what he has in his uh, Facebook page. So let's do a face down, uh, page down. I mean, let's just press uh, face down or the arrow keys. Oh yes, uh, there's uh, like a video here. Let's watch this. It looks awesome. Hello, this is Isang Bangka by the Dawn mm. on Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Here we go. Let's listen to that. Sounds awesome. Let's see. Let's see if uh, this guy can sing. Let's see if this guy has the pipes. Oh shit! I can't. Uh... Oh, what? What? Let's reload that. I think yeah. Facebook uh, sometimes uh, even on my uh, even on my browser on my Mac it it it, uh, it crashes. But there we can we can we can do a full screen, which is very cool. Yeah, this guy, this guy looks awesome, like, uh, I don't know what, what he does, but he looks like a rock star though, but, yeah, let's see if he can sing. Hmm, he has the pipes. I love this song though. Ah, the speaker on the Game Boy is a bit bad. This song though is good. I know this song. It's a famous uh, Filipino song by the Don. Yeah, I love this. Mahal kong kaibigan, saan sa sadyain hanap mong katahimikan. This guy in the upper corner looks like an asshole. Pinagsama. Oh, he, he, he was delayed. He, that, was, that was wrong. Lahat natin ang layag sa umaawit na hangin. Ang gabi ay Leaf of the grass taken by the wind and you can't see where you are, where it will bring you. It 
kasama mo. No, that was wrong. You should have gone high. Ngunit kasama mo. Yeah, that was wrong. Ang dagat, ang tatawirin na. But this guy though, the big one, he, he can he can sing. This guy on the upper left looks like an idiot. I don't know what he's doing right there. He should stand up. This song is high, you know. Sanang tungo mo, mahal kong kaibigan. Where are you going to look for your peace? When we are together, I will go with you. Our get-togethers is in my heart, my friend, my colleague. Let's go together and the night. Let's face together. We will be flying. There may be some spears. We will cross. The luyong. What is the luyong? That's insane. That's a deep Filipino word right there. This wrong. The 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 upper corner guy is wrong again. Like, let me pause this. It should be bastat kasama mo. It should be bastat kasama mo. You should have gone high high there, right? Listen, listen, listen. Look, look. Listen carefully. It should be bastat kasama mo. It should should go high. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. But look, look, looks alright. Looks alright. I think yeah, a, a little bit practice. This guy, yeah, this guy could go places, you know. But overall, a uh, good song. But anyway, yeah, let, 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 let's uh, go out. Um, let's uh, open. What else? Let's pause this. Uh, let's open. I don't know. What 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 uh, what can we uh, what can we search here? Maybe we can search for something like I don't have a keyboard, so I need to click on. I need to open my uh, Florence uh, on-screen keyboard because we don't have a choice. I don't know. Let's uh, search for the Wikipedia entry of um, Game Boy. Like, when was it? Wh when did they make it? Why did they make it? You know, I believe that's an interesting, uh, an interesting browse. Like uh, reading about the Game Boy on a Game Boy. That is that's insane right there. It's like a Game Boyception or something. So let's uh, let's enter that layer. Let's uh, cross the, close the on-screen keyboard. Let's go to the Game Boy Wikipedia. So if you don't know, the Game Boy was invented in uh, April 1989. It basically, looks like this. So technically, the one I have here is not really a Game Boy. It's like a modern attempt to you know uh, back bank on nostalgia. I know a lot of idiots. You know, if if people make a a device that looks like a Game Boy, and I know a lot of people would buy it. I'm not I'm not one of those. You know, like I won't be easily taken by my nostalgia. You know, I always assess. I don't buy just because it looks like a Game Boy. And I buy it. No, I'm not like that. But yeah, it was it was uh this this is very cool right here, and I, I remember it's made by this guy called um, Ganpei Yokoi. Let's look for that name right there, Ganpei Yokoi. And I believe um what he did is that uh, he noticed that uh, on a plane, right? Um, he he noticed a guy playing with his calculator, and he's like, oh, and during that time, family computer was already famous, but you can only use it on your TV. But then this guy is like playing on his uh, calculator, and he was like. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. What if we can make a video game console, you know, that people can play anywhere? And uh, flash forward uh, 31 years later, uh, here we are, you know. But, yeah, it's 1989, 2019. So, actually, it's uh, 32. It's this this guy, I'm just one year older than this guy because I'm I'm, uh, I'm 31, uh, 32. This guy is uh, 31 years old, but uh, I'll, be, I'll be 33 this year. So, this guy will be... Uh, 32 this year so I'm, I'm one year older but anyway yeah that's uh that's how uh browsing looks like on a game boy uh you how that's how you browse internet on a game boy it's basically a desktop experience but anyway yeah